How do you see the potential of AT&T as an operator now? Um, honestly, reading the, you know, the terms of this deal, I think when, uh, AT&T dropped to number three in terms of subscribers. I think Stinky's face would just turn bright red and just, he made it, you know, swore up and down. But uh, I think, uh, uh, <laughs> I, six I think five, bro. <laughs> you're right. I can't imagine somebody at that height being met. But um, I think, uh, you know, as far as what I've been reading about, as soon as Stinky took, you know, CEO, the role of CEO, um, he's, in my eyes, he's never been a big fan of media. I don't think he's, you know what I'm saying? He's mostly preached about wireless. That's interesting you bring that up, Zero Cool. He was the guy who pushed for the Time Warner deal. I just True. think he had a different plan for Time Warner. It, it, it's, yes, that's, that's what I was just about to say. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. I don't think, you know, I always said that content was king, but it's. I think we're having like a, a dynamic shift because it's just nowadays it's, it's people – they can get their content from anywhere, right? But it's always like the fastest who can get it the best or whatever. Let's but, check um, the timeline real cool, zero cool. Let's 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 bring this back a little bit. T Vision failed. They parted with YouTube TV, right? Yeah. Okay. Go ninety failed. They shut it down. They made partnerships with YouTube TV at Verizon, Disney Plus, Hulu. It's all partnerships, right? Yep. AT&T is essentially doing the same thing. They're spinning off the media side. Verizon just sold Yahoo, AOL, all that residual media stuff. I think they came to the realization, all these companies, it's too hard to do this as a wireless network operator right, on, exactly. on the yeah. dawn of the 5G build. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. media is like the old DSL, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> media is like, you know, it, it's there. You know, it's okay. I mean, people can get it, but it's not, it doesn't really deliver, you know, something that a 5G has the potential to. Like, you know, media, is to, media has content. Is it scalable? Eh, not as scalable as what a 5G can do for somebody. Like, there's so much more potential that you can use 5G for than just saying, oh, you know, I have this content or this channel on TV that I can watch on a daily basis, right? So I think that's where Stinky is, is, focusing on and again um i just i i think he just hates being number three like he's you know what i mean like he's he's probably he's probably very upset so good if move you're an Great alpha male team. you're not into number three. Oh no you want to be number one right and just it, this i think i want to say you know i could be wrong about this but i want to say you know when that's when the whole seismic subscriber shift happened i bet you anything that the board of directors were just hounding him left and right like be be back to number two or, you know, it's just, I, I, I think there was some huge talks going on. I don't see the end of this for at and I, I see them selling more and more stuff. Right. I see them just, I see them solely, uh, focused on, um, wireless. Uh, but hold on. They still on direct TV, right? Is that correct? Or do they spin that off too? Uh, They've got like 70% ownership. They're splitting with uh, TPG. Oh, that's, yeah, right, that's the, right. That's right. That's right. It's off the books. Um, I could, off yeah, the books, right. Yeah. It's, it's off now the, the new direct TV. And I, that's, that's when, right. when we kind of started the show tonight. I wanted to frame it that way. That's how I see this playing out. AT&T, a majority owner in the new Warner Media. You know? So, like, basically, AT&T and Discovery shareholders are the ownership stake in this. Is that so, is that one hundred percent confirmed, like seventy percent, or is it a complete one hundred percent spinoff? Well, I'm looking at the value. I've got eighty five billion, or eighty billion for Time Warner, and I've got about thirty to forty billion in Discovery. If it's eighty thirty, okay. I mean that's that's kind of okay. how I'm looking at it, right? I'm looking at about a seventy thirty split or something like that. I, I we have to get a final number. Discoveries generates forty one billion annual. They're profitable. 10 billion of it is net profit. So I don't know. Time Warner generates like double that, if not right. more. So I don't, I don't know. It's hard to value it, but I think it's based on shares as opposed yeah. to say the, like the value of the company. I, in my opinion, I think, I think Warner media assets are probably worth five times, you know, that of discovery, you know, long term because of the movies. Exactly. Yeah. Bro, these are box off. They get freaking. you saw what freaking. 
Wonder Woman 1984 did, and that was a terrible movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it was awful. And and yeah. like you, Mortal Kombat, Kong yeah. killed it. You know, Kong and Godzilla. You know, yeah. they these are big time, and they're gonna do DC. You know, and they're gonna open back up. You know, with movies. Uh, you know, going to the theater. They're still doing the straight to platform. It's a winner to me. Yeah, I th- I think in the near future, you know, cause I, this 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 deal is going to go through. They're going to have you know no problem at all. Uh, really, spinning this off. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Really, absolutely, absolutely. yeah. Because this wow. is all the regulars are going to look at this. Oh, AT and T wants to sell some, some some stuff. Great, let's let them. Let's you know, you know, that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, in the near future, it's just going to be an all out wireless brawl, five G brawl between the big three. That's yeah. how it's going to be. In my it's opinion, gonna be uh, it's going to be nasty. 